What's Next is brought to you by Frontier Communications. NC State students are getting attention for their special way of growing food. Yeah, CBS North Carolina's Megan Newland shows us why aquaponics are what's next. It's a bit of an unusual sight inside NC State's Tally Student Union. Lettuce growing and fish swimming. It's definitely attracted a lot of attention. It's one way to show how we can sustainably and quickly grow foods. It's called aquaponics. It was created by the Recirculating Farms Club to educate people about the practice of combining fish farming and growing plants in water. The fish waste provides nutrients for the plants and then the plants, by absorbing those nutrients, are essentially cleaning the water so that it can go back to the fish tank. It provides an alternative form of agriculture um, that is more efficient and also uh, more environmentally friendly. The system was put in place this summer. Every 28 days, a new crop of lettuce can be harvested. Half the harvest will go to a food bank. The other half will stay at state. Talk about local. It's coming from here and then going upstairs into our restaurants. We're trying to really connect people to their food. That's a huge step we've been taking. Chris Dunham is the nutrition and sustainability specialist for NC State's University Dining. He says he's working to bring more local ingredients to students. We want to make an even bigger impact in the local food system. We serve over 30,000 meals a day on campus. He and the students believe aquaponic systems will become increasingly popular. It's definitely a growing trend. As far as saving water and space usage, it's a lot more efficient. But the big question? Does it taste good? Very good, very good, yeah. It's very fresh, tender. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. And for those who like their food local. I got a chance to actually see it growing and then eat it. It can't be beat. For What's Next, Maggie Newland, CBS North Carolina.